I shown the first slide. I waited for you people. Let others join. I told I waited for nearly four to five minutes. Uh, I think you didn't observe. Most of the students they have written uh, spelling wrong in the I. Uh, we usually write in the first uh, sheet. So most of the students they are written <laughs> wrong. <laughs> After 20 classes are over and 20 times I might have shown my name to you people. Uh, anyway, uh, we will not discuss that. <laughs> I will show you again today also. Uh, every class, first slide, my name will be there. Even in English also, in Canada also. So that at least students will remember it. And uh, uh, let me go back to my first slide. Uh, you people can just see it. What you have typed. I don't know why KTH is coming. Uh, everybody has written KTH. Uh, I don't know. But uh, also again, at least today, I want you people to see it and not write wrong when you were uh, see. At least today you note down the name somewhere in your notes at least uh, because you should not write wrong things whenever somebody asks you to write somewhere. If you are writing in my IA book, no problem, but you should not write uh, uh, somewhere else when you are writing uh, my name. So that is the reason we type our name in every class in the first slide and so that you people can remember who is handling his name, uh, spelling and all. And let us go to the uh, IA1 scheme now. H will not come, KT, H will not come, KTA, uh, even Kannada also are written. Uh, let us go to the next. Okay, this is a internal assessment one. Uh, common for A and B division. Uh, again, here also in the question paper, we have mentioned our name so that you can remember. And uh, let us go to the first question. List and explain any file string related methods in Python. Give examples. Actually, in our regular classes, we used to show the IA books. Without showing the name of the student, we used to show the IA books and we used to tell what the wrong things students are writing and how they should write. But now it's very difficult to do that because we are not marking in the IA book now. So simply we are putting a marks, which is uh, the same method VTU and all universities are following. And uh, list and explain the five string related methods in Python. Handwriting should be neat. You should leave the margin. Question number should be typed properly. Uh, one sentence you remember always. Instead of overwriting, rewriting is better. Many students they scratch, there only they write something, which is difficult to read it. Simply you can put a cross mark, rewrite, it is better. The question number 1b, write a python script to generate the first n even numbers. Read the count n from the keyboard. Check for possible errors in the input. Display the result on the screen. Uh, many students, they are not checked the errors properly. And a uh, lot of errors are there. Uh, if a college starts, uh, then I will show you. Because if I open somebody's uh, paper, name will be there in the file name. So everybody will come to know, ah, it's a paper, belongs to this student. I don't want to do that. Usually in the class we used to do, uh, without showing anybody's name, we used to show the uh, wrong thing what you are doing. Now it is very difficult. If a time permits, I'll show you in the next class. I'll take a snapshot, I'll put in the, only that particular wrong thing what you are doing it in the slides, I'll show you in the next class if a time permits. Now, many are they, the string related methods, you can put at least five to six and you have to give one example and you have to write a, one or two lines what it does so this is a question number one a and most of the students they have attempted question number one a and one b one b uh, this is a important thing nobody has done as i observe if somebody has done i'll be happy you can tell me so that i'll search again your uh, paper i'll recheck so this is very 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 important this was a question uh, write a python script to generate see this indentation is very very important many students below far they are writing if many students they are writing print below far only 
See, indentation, if he is not there, I should give you the zero marks, tell you frank. But some marks are given. And another, colon is different, semicolon is different. If you do not put also, it is a wrong. I observed many people, many students, they have put a semicolon here. I don't know, while copying it has happened or while remembering it has happened. And uh, this colon is also missing, it, it has become semicolon. And in some cases, neither colon or semicolon or anything is there, simply they are written print. And that also print is sometimes uh, before the if only, it has come this side. So if indentation is not there, I will give you guarantee that second I, third I, main exam, for that particular program, I will give you the zero marks. I repeat, it is recorded now. If indentation, if you do not mark like this using a pencil, and if you do not write a program like this, even though the program may correct, I'll give the zero marks. Please remember, because it's very difficult to understand whether this for, for loop is uh, you are writing beginning only, if you are writing beginning only, so which is very difficult to understand the program only. And if you type that, even it will show the error also. And cool and many has not written, and a uh, lot of mistakes are there. But uh, we have given some marks because it's the first time you are writing and uh, we have given the some marks but uh, IA2 whether it is online or offline whatever it may be, if you do the same mistake, I will give the zero marks for that program. So please remember uh, when you are writing a program, this indentation you are supposed to mark, then only you will get a marks. What about question number 1B and uh, question number 2A, as I know question number 2 is attempted by hardly uh, only few students write the uh, what are the various control and looping statements available in python give some examples you could have explained if then if else if else and looping for while loop and you could have given some examples but the number of students attempted question number 2 is very very less and those who have tried question number 2 but they have attempted question number 1 also safe aside and actually question number 2b is a correct question all questions should be like this only then only it will be called as a open book test actually according to me all questions should be question number 2b like that only then only we can check the students knowledge but uh, nobody has attempted only few students have attempted those who have attempted question number 2a, they have not even written question number 2b. Those who have written question number 2b, only question they have written, they have not written the answer. And reversing the string, we have executed the program already. Instead of doing it in the array, we have been asked, you are asked to do it in the file. And only two extra statements will come. You are supposed to open the one file in the read mode and then in the right mode just read the string and minus 1 if you write it will become a reverse simply write it close it this is very simple because m1 equal to m colon colon minus 1 you have written and uh, you have executed many programs even in the class also only extra is open the two files one is in the read and there is write but you have to close it that's all very simple program but uh, uh, as I remember Nobody has written the program, but uh, question number 1 program, question number 3 program they have written because those are available, might be in the notes or internet, they might have studied, but it was an open book test, they might have copied also. Uh, let me go to the question number 3. Elaborate the silent features of additions and set in Python. One thing you, all of you should remember, whichever be the subject, including ITC also, Python also, any other subject. When you are writing a theory, never expect 100% marks at any cost. If it is a problem is there, if you have solved the problem, you will get a 5 out of 5 even in the ITC also. If theory question is there, 5 marks are there, it is very difficult to get a 5 out of 5. You may get a, usually a 4 marks maximum for theory questions. And even programming also because of uh, indentation, colon is not correct, overwriting and so many reasons even you may not get 5 out of 5. 
Even though it's an open book test, nobody has scored 20 out of 20. And uh, our expectation will be more because it's an open book test. We expect the student should uh, write nicely. And uh, let us go to the at least one one example uh, theory related to the dictionary and sets you have to write. Actually, you could have written two to one one page at least. Many students have written half a page including dictionary and sets. I don't know how come. You yes, have taken a lot of time to discuss the sets and uh, dictionaries. Now, uh, question number 3b. Write a Python script to generate and plot a sine of x. A waveform of magnitude y volt. Peak value in the range minus 2 to plus 2. Plot the waveform at 1000 points. Indicate the various axis label. See, this is a program asked you people to write. And uh, this is a program. Let me show you the program which I have uh, executed. The minus 2 to 2 they have told. Uh, now, indentation is again missing in most of the programs. And most of the students, I don't know how they have written the sine wave in their uh, third sum, fourth sum. It never looks sine wave. And in some of the sine wave, this is has become uh, like a damped oscillations. Over damped, sometimes it is increasing. Under damped, sometimes it is decreasing. And time period for every cycle it is changing, what they have written in the answer sheet. Most of the students they don't know how to write a sine wave also. And uh, please write down the waveform properly. And uh, I don't know, very strange uh, I have observed. They are writing minus uh, some voltage, sometimes they are writing plus voltage. These things I asked you to execute in the class only. And many students they have executed in the class. Even I asked you people to dump like this was uh, waveform what you have observed the program also so that you'll understand and many students the waveform how they are written when we look we are supposed to give zero marks because they don't know sine wave means what and uh, many students they are changing the amplitude also time period also changing for each cycle and that will not be called as a sine wave uh, sometimes program may be correct but uh, a waveform itself is wrong for this waveform you are writing a program i don't know how come uh, you are uh, writing uh, such a waveform. Uh, this is uh, another thing what I have observed in your uh, answer sheets. The time permits, uh, I will try to show you the sample answers. Not today because I have to open the file name. And every file name is having a USN number name. I don't want to say, uh, show who is that. But uh, usually we used to show in uh, regular classes only the answers. So this is about a scheme. Uh, what we expected from you people and uh, what you have written uh, I'll show you marks and all we'll see I think six students were absent I'll uh, just tell their names if they are in this your class uh, let them contact me later Akash Gaddi was absent Anusha Hiremat they may be in another division I don't know but actually they are in B division uh, Nutan Vadgeri Shodhan Shetty uh, Mubin Hussain, Prajwal and uh, Sanju. These are the students, those who are absent. But two students name is not there in ad stock in B division. Uh, Vijayanand Hegde, Priyanka Khode. These two students, they are attended in the B division but their name is not there in the ad stock. But these six students, Akash, Anusha, Nutan, Shodhan, Mubin, Prajwal Sanju name is there in the A division. I don't know. They might have written in the B division. Uh, B division name is there. They might have written in the A division. And please uh, talk to the higher authority. If you have changed the division, let us know. Because sometimes we may put uh, absent. You might have written in the another division. For example, Vijayananda Hegde. I cannot put the marks. Priyanka Kode because your name is not there. Uh, sir, I request uh, Shavan sir, uh, sir told that he will change the division. Uh, Vijayanand, if they do it well and good, otherwise I will not be in the position to put your marks in the ad stock. Uh, please uh, talk to them so that uh, I can put your marks. And similarly Priyanka Kode, I don't know whether she is attending or not. Even her name is there in the A division, might be. B division it is missing. But these students also convey Akash, Anusha, 
and Newton, Shodhan, Mubin, Prajwal, Sanju. They may be attending in A division, but their name is in the B division. So let them attend the A division, no problem. But uh, they should request the higher authority for a change of the division, so that uh, their marks will be entered in the ad stock. Otherwise, later it will become a big issue, and unnecessarily you will be in trouble. Being a teacher, we have to also face a lot of problem. So my sincere request is, please uh, discuss with the higher authority and ensure that your name will come in the ad stock so that you can put your marks. So this is about a uh, first IA scheme and all. Uh, I'll pause for a uh, one minute. If you want to ask anything, you can ask. Otherwise, we'll start the class. <clears throat> The random model we'll discuss today. You can use this model to make a random numbers, and uh, Python implements a pseudo random number generator. We call it the PRNG. Random dot random generates a random number in the interval zero and one. This includes zero. Interesting is it doesn't include a one. When I say random. Rand range two comma twenty two will return any random number between the two to twenty, such as two four six uh, eight ten twelve like that up to eighteen, not including twenty. So please read this, try to understand. I will show you the examples also. You can see in the next slides uh, some examples. Uh, executed program also I will show you. Even you can copy down those programs and you can execute if the time permits. Now you read it, understand. Not only in between zero and one, you can do the integer number also, which will uh, show you in the next slide. Okay. So one simple example: import random you have to write, then print random dot random in between zero to one. By default, it will uh, print, and uh, random int zero to five I am taking. So, but integer it includes that last range also, and this is one interesting: random dot seed forty two. Any number you can write integer, and when you execute random dot random few times. This combination, what you are getting, you'll get the same even after a day, two, three days. If you do execution, you'll get the same. Why? How? No need to worry. As of now, what you have to remember: if I use like this random seed some integer number, then if I execute these ten times, I'll get the ten numbers. But tomorrow day after tomorrow, also I'll get the same. This is one important point. I want you people to observe. You can. Record only two instructions are there. You can write down in your notebook because writing is very important. Simply reading is dangerous. And have a habit of writing. Have a habit of executing the programs. So why should I give only forty two? Give fifty eight. Give some number. Try. So if I give this, what will happen? Check in your computer, in your online simulator, using your mobile. Your mobile is not going to burn. Just do it, learn it, try it. Let us go to the next slide. See, I have taken again import random. Now I am using integer range is one to eight. I am executing. When I took a seed, some integer number. When I executed twice, in both the time I got the same answer. This is one point which you have to remember, and you can execute and experience whether it will work or not. I have checked, and it has worked. Just I am sharing with you. You can note down uh, only two instructions are there. The same thing you are repeating, and today also you can execute and uh, you can share the result in the chat box. That time everybody should get the same answer. When I say, even though I am using a rant, even though I am going for random, 
I should get the same answer because if I am using a seed. Let us check today whether it will work or not. It is told in the textbook. Even I have tried. I experienced it is correct. But when 70 students are doing it, 60 students are doing it, we will see whether it will work or not. And this is another uh, program and result. Uniform returns the random float R such that again it is in between the X and Y. S yes, equal to random dot uniform 5 comma 10. One more I am taking a V equal to random uniform 7 comma 14. In between these two I will get a some number. This is 9 point something I am getting. And this is in between these two 13 point something I am getting. I take a one instruction. How you can write S yes, equal to. Similarly you can write A, B, C, D equal to. A random dot any form. You can write on any two integer number. Check it. The answer is coming in between those two or not. When I am saying 5 comma 10, I should not get less than 5, I should not get more than 10. Those you can try and execute. Hardly two to instruction are they? Write down in your notebook and today you can execute after the class and you can share the result in the chat box. Okay, let us go to the next. Uh, import random and uh, random dot choice computer. Any one character will be chosen and that will be printed on the screen. Now in this case, see I got. You can try, you may get any other character but not other than these characters. Again print random choice. I have, have a total 23, 45 something like that. So any one will be randomly selected and it will be printed. And uh, numbers I am assigning, I am printing the numbers as it is. And next time I am shuffling these, their positions will be changed and those I am printing again. Also the output, these are same numbers but the positions are different. This can be done using a shuffle. So note down a random choice, one instruction under the shuffle instruction so that you can execute and you can share the result in the chat box. Take a minute and note down, understand this. But you are supposed to write a first statement, import random. Even when I am sharing the code or when you are typing, not to forget to write a first line import random so that it will execute. Otherwise, it may show you the error. Let us go to the next. Not only for the integer or a character, even it is for possible to use for a string also. A import random, city list, and New York, Los Angeles. It is from the textbook I am taking. You can write down Hyderabad. You can write uh, Haveri, Davanagiri for your kind of for your example. A print random element from list. Random dot choice city list. This should remain same uh, where you are assigning, and any one will be printed. In this case, I got a Houston as a one selected, which is chosen. Another, I am taking a city list again. I am assigning at uh, this time random dot instead of choice. I am using a sample sample size. I am mentioning as a two. Now two will be printed instead of only one choice. Now sample you are taken two will be printed. <coughs> Sorry, what you can do. You can <clears throat> change this 2 to 3 and you can execute, you can try what will be the output. Now I want you people to copy down and today you execute, type this, execute and share the result in the chat box. You can write any city names. Or you can write a friend's name. Something you can make changes also. But logic you should understand. A choice. A sample. 
how it works those you have to execute and you have to share in the chat box <coughs> let us go to the next ha ah, this is very important i hope uh, all of you can try today this uh, uh, url library package <coughs> the url library model in python 3 allows you to access the websites via your program even uh, before uh, studying the python i thought we had to write a big code to read uh, some uh, content of the any website it is used to fetch the urls Uh, URLs are the good uniform resource allo locators. URL lib dot request is a Python model for fetching the URLs. Just note down one or two lines. We will see the one simplest example <coughs> how to read the any website, any blogs. I'll take my blog only for uh, convenience, and I'll execute. I'll read my blog, and we'll check what I have read is there in my blog or not. Uh, similarly, you can take a uh, sdmcet.ac.in, and you can check it. Content of the website also, and you can uh, use this to do a projects, especially whenever you want to search something. Information uh, user needs that you want to take it from some website or those links you want to display to the user. You can use this simply. read the website and if uh, content is matching with the person what he is searching that content simply display that uh, link to the user so let us go to the next i have a blog many blogs i have you might have seen uh, one blog i have taken uh, i have a plc blog uh, one plc blog is available this shall read its content using a python program then what is the use of reading sir you can do lot of operations for example search my name is there in that blog or not or sir somebody's name is there or not or some training is available is in that particular blog or not or maybe website how to do it now we are going to see how to read its content that only we are going to see in the next slide so this is a blog no need to copy just observe what is there i highlighted bosch rexrot center of excellence at sdmcet is there and uh, ug project 2019 is a design and fabrication of automated punching machine it's a project done by some students ug students in 2019 and uh, it is a mechanical department and guide was dr b h uh, <coughs> what about he sir and students details is available uh, likhit nayak ravi puja rajesh t uh, shank Kerapa, some names are there in the blog, and similarly, blog just one snapshot was taken. Like that, we have a UG project which is done by electrical department. When somebody is interested to do any project uh, related to the PLC, lot of facilities are available in our engineering college. Uh, we have a center of excellence, and all the material will be available. No need to purchase. Uh, you can experiment. Then, if you want for yourself, you can. Uh, purchase some of the things needed for doing the project and every year one or two projects they are doing in the bosch rexroth center of excellence and uh, this is another project done uh, plc based elevator control and uh, dr mr kapali sir is the uh, guide so whether his name will come or not when i am reading that uh, particular blog that i have to check and some students names are there sachin nergal sanjay kumar some names are there like that a uh, content is a lot of content is a i am concentrating only on these few lines after reading whether these lines will come in my whatever the information i have read in that that i had to check it let me go to the code which is very simple code uh, which will take a uh, hardly a few seconds to execute few minutes to type hardly one or two minutes this is a code import url library dot request request a url equal to url library dot request dot url open this as it is you have to type and you have to give the path https svv plc dot blogspot dot com and print this request url dot read 
this information whatever is there in this blog everything will be printed and i want you people each one of you to copy down this and you have to execute this and lot of content will come in your chat box uh, in the result uh, no need to dump everything in my chat box otherwise it will take a lot of space and time uh, at least you observe yourself the content will come or not i want each one of you to copy down this line three lines and execute in the online simulator only and observe the output what you are going to get and no need to share everything the content will be huge because all the information including uh, your uh, color text color text size font size font style everything will be right but we are only concentrating uh, some content is available what her read from the blog or a website you can change the website and try i have not done um, lot of changes i have made only my blog have compared similarly some other students can do a uh, different and uh, you can share the code and hardly a content of that a uh, three four lines you can share now you can observe what i got output so http svplc.blogspot.com i got and bosch rexroth center of excellence at sdmcet was there and uh, this was there and a uh, lot of things is uh, read now i'm searching only the what i have highlighted there for example design and fabrication of automated punching machine a uh, dr bh whatever he is sir his name is there and students detail is also there including us number uh, likhit nayak rohit ravi pujar and rajesh uh, shankarappa these names i have shown you in the blog so even you can also try uh, when i ask you to execute you can execute and you can see you can observe these names are coming when i read the information from that particular blog and you can change the blog you can read it and even uh, try to give the some other uh, website name i tried with my blogs i didn't give all the website names uh, these are coming uh, let me show you the another content uh, what i got lot of content will come just this is the one what i observed just i'm comparing with uh, my blog whether content i'm getting or not and another kapali sir name and other two three students name is was also we are seen in the blog those also should be available in this after reading uh, let me check that also is there or not so plc based elevator control system uh, dr m r kapali sir name is there mr sachin yergal sanjay kumar these names were there in the blog now after reading in this red information i could able to see all these names all the information is available so this is a way how we can read a content from the blog or content from the some websites so that you can do the processing later as somebody's name is there or not or somebody is searching something whether that is available in particular website or not you can search it and based on that you can do the selection and give that to the user whatever he is searching for that is the way how we can use it uh, line of three line of code is there but does a lot of work and another three line of code you can add so that it will become a very good application or a one nice program i want you people to do it and share with me and if you are succeeded even you can make a phone call also i'll be happy to talk to you people and tomorrow is sunday you'll get a time i want you people to try that and get and post requests are there uh, two https are available uh, hypertext transfer protocol uh, get to request the data from the server post to submit a uh, data to be processed to the server note on these two uh, get and post and i will ask you to execute at least that url program or any other one or two program today uh, search or sample or as a random selection uh, one or two programs you can execute and you can share the output with us and it will be helpful to the other students also let me take another few seconds okay yeah so these are the uh, date and time model 
So if I execute highly this uh, two lines, first I have to import the date time model. And when I say x equal to date time, date time now, a present time, if you execute now, after one hour, afternoon, evening, based on that, the time will also change. And if you execute tomorrow, a uh, time will change. So this is the time date when I have executed this particular three instructions in the online simulator. I want you people to copy down these three and execute these three lines. Observe the output. Today, afternoon, morning, tomorrow. It contains a year, 2020, month, as well as a day, hour, minute, second, microsecond. So I think this I executed uh, not recently, but you can execute today also, you can observe the output. Another two slides I will take, then uh, we will pause, you can execute, again we will continue. And let us, uh, will it show only India time or even other country? Uh, you try Ganesh, okay. Uh, where you are executing, na, it matters. If you go to the London and execute, try there also. Come to the India and execute, try this also. Or check in the Google uh, answers. No doubt, uh, it will show present where you are working, based on the IP address, it will do it. Ask your friend, somebody who is working in foreign, ask him to execute parallelly. Even I can give the sum of the cell numbers, uh, email IDs of uh, students or alumni. Ask them to do it and you also do it, check it. Huh? Very good Ganesh. Let us go to the next. And uh, this is another way how you can print individually year and all. X equal to date time, date time now, the same thing I am executing after importing the date time. And I am printing year, date, month, year, full year, week, number, etc. Like a percentage D, percentage S you are using in the C language. Now here in Python for th this particular, when you import a date time, when you execute this, you can use a percentage A, percentage B like that few to print a day and month. Everywhere you'll, you may find it sometimes same. For example, X dot str F time only are writing. But based on the percentage A, B, Y, the result what it is printing is different. What are the such things are available, how many are available, which one you are using for what purpose, those are listed in the next slide. I want you people to just go through this and copy down one or two lines from this. Like this percentage A, percentage B, how many are there, for what purpose we use, that I will show you in the next slide. A program followed by the result, both I am showing you. So I think after this I will pause, uh, let me spend a few minutes for other discussion and uh, then I will give the time to execute. So otherwise let me show this, uh, yeah, let me finish these two slides. Just glance, it is there in the book. The same thing I am showing it to you people. Percentage A, percentage W, percentage D, percentage B, Y, year without century, directly 1, 2, 3, something like that. The capital Y, small y, percentage H, 24 hour clock, I, 12 hour clock, percentage P to write EM or PM, like that. This you try and we cannot show all the answers, neither in the textbook they can show. Otherwise they have to write 10, 20 pages only for this. And you have to explore. The same thing is there in the next slide, uh, which I have taken from the internet. Uh, both are same, just the visibility is different. Uh, take a few seconds, you can see. That is from the textbook, this is from the some website I have collected. Both may give the same meaning, but here we have some examples. There we didn't find examples, directly the explanation and uh, directive was there.
you have to practice a few more are there uh, percentage z a time zone it will show from where it is showing because it's not same somebody asked just now you try this also a day number of the year 00 1 2 3 65 or 366 and week number of the year Take another five seconds, we'll go to the next. Okay, uh, before you go to the uh, introduction to the object oriented uh, programming, I want to pause here so you people can execute some programs. Before that, uh, uh, let me spend a, a few minutes with you people. Uh, I think this year they are uh, permitting you people to write a gate exam. I don't know how many of you are writing, usually I used to tell in the regular classes um, to write a gate exam and if you want to interact with somebody those who have succeeded in gate those who have failed literally in the gate those who have a different experience in the while writing the gate exam you can come forward even i'll give the cell numbers you can contact them you can discuss with them or even you can arrange a talk by them not even during the college hours or class hours, even Saturdays, Sundays, evenings. Even I told a few students, uh, uh, usually I say students, a few alumni to help you people, motivate you people. And many students are telling, sir, you ask them to write the gate exam. And whether you are interested to write, a, uh, whether you are interested to do a higher studies or not, but you have to write a gate exam. You have to spend at least two hours per day, one hour or two hours per day minimum to read for the gate and no doubt it will help you to get a placed in the core company also and sometimes if a gate score is very good you can go for higher studies and even sometimes based on your gate score you may get a government job directly and uh, there you will get all the facility including quarters servants uh, all the uh, say even um, you'll get a car everything uh, some of the students they are uh, very much interested to address you people uh, about the gate. I think only few months are remaining. You try to write the gate exam. Even if you could not succeed this year, your preparation will not go waste. So make a one team, make a one circle. I want you people to conduct even uh, regularly uh, some exams like a um, multiple choice or obje uh, objective type for among yourself only. Uh, even I will be a part of that if you are a saying okay and try to prepare for the gate exam it will help you to improve your fundamental subjects you become automatically strong given vlsi company any core company is coming there is a chance that you may get placed so please take it very serious and one more thing even including uh, my students also as i observed uh, project they are not doing anything and uh, being a teacher it's my duty to tell you now only when you are facing any interview in the final year 90% of the students they are unable to tell anything about their mini project because mini project they might have not done well. So you have a project this year also in your fifth sem. I want you people to do a good project, prepare a report, nice report, so that in the interview you can say you did this and you presented some paper or okay paper you have not done at least you got a result. You have video of the working model of what you did a project or a simulated results you have. That will help you during your interview. So as a teacher, I'm doing my duty. Uh, but at your age, it is very difficult to do it. I too can understand. Because your priorities will be different. And lot of uh, disturbances will be there. Distraction will be there. From your point of view, I agree. But uh, those who control their mind, those who uh, concentrate on their studies, those who spend their more time on the preparation for the gate or project etc definitely their resume will be different compared to a resume of others even in the interview with confidence they can face the interview when they do uh, gate preparation as well as when they do a very good project so these are the two things i wanted to tell you so if uh, you are writing the gate exam well and good and if you want to interact with seniors alumni uh, definitely you can come forward make a small team because uh, everybody may not be interested to write a gate exam. Even if you can't, cannot uh, succeed this year, you have one more year. 
that team should remain same you can continue working so that uh, at least you will succeed in the next year earlier uh, they removed for pre final year again they have introduced for pre final year now if anybody want to talk i'll keep it open for you people to say anything then we'll go for the execution uh, how uh, how many of you are writing the gate exam this year anybody is uh, amit or anybody how many of you, your students are writing at least count approximately i am happy to know amit is writing whether he is preparing or not but he is writing i appreciate uh, preparation uh, it takes a lot of time amit tell yes sir uh, thank you amit uh, anybody is uh, trying you can say yes it doesn't mean uh, something is wrong without preparation some students may write as a practice i want each one of you to write at least uh, for that sake you will read something which will become definitely helpful for your uh, core company placements because fundamental even uh, when many students they come to me they say sir i am not getting a job do something but many alumni are telling sir if you have a good student sent i'll give them a job it is very difficult in between for me because i am not finding a student who is very good in fundamentals because many students are working in a vlsa company and uh, core companies they expect a student should know everything if your fundamentals are very strong uh, no need to worry about a job definitely somebody will help you definitely your alumni will help you even many alumni are there they ask me sir if you have a guy or a, any student who is very good in fundamentals ask them to call me but i am not finding anybody like that because when i tell somebody's name uh alumni should not say sir he don't know anything you are telling his name so many times uh, we are in between um, sometimes we think uh, even though uh, alumni are ready to give the job we don't have a students uh, according to their expectation so please prepare well all your uh, third sem subject four sem subject those are very important for your future anybody want to say anything you are welcome and make a one team and uh, many alumni are there uh, last year i think uh, before last year also one student has done preparation and uh, i gave a moral support lot of moral support i gave him uh, sometimes uh, i can share the experience in the regular classes if a time permits later sometimes uh, many students used to tell him that a pagal ban gaya sir ask him to leave the gate uh, he used to prepare that much he stopped going to the uh, shopping uh, theater watching the movies using a mobile so, uh, i can share you the some examples uh, real examples experience of your alumni in uh, uh, regular classes uh, offline class if i start and only those people have succeeded others used to tell them as a ye to pagal hai okay and only those who became a, like a pagal okay so those people could able to do something you should give priority to that highest then only you can achieve it otherwise it's very difficult and uh, i want you people at least few students from this class and that class i want you people to crack the gate and whatever the help you want uh, definitely i'll be there and you can talk to your seniors also now project also i don't know how many of you are doing it usually you tell even my students also not doing anything uh all are my students only but uh, for whom i am beca became a guide even i am not happy with their work and at least i want you people to continue your work do the work fast so that you can complete you can do the paper presentation and the working model you can have a video or simulated results you can have you can show it to the interviewer who is uh, taking into in your final year for you otherwise i have seen seven some students they are doing their mini project now they are not started their major project they are saying in interview they have to tell about their uh, mini project that's why they are continuing the mini project now also you can see already first i is over till they are doing their mini project that should not happen with you as a teacher i am telling you whether to take it or not it's left to you and uh, thank you for attending the class uh, take care have a good day and execute uh, programs all the python programs we have discussed and uh, i'll be here for the 5 to 10 minutes anybody is interested to talk to me you're welcome thank you take care have a good day bye